The machines are classic pieces of aviation history, meticulously restored and looking just as good as their first takeoff. We call them sport biplanes. They're made for aerobatics. They do about 150 miles an hour, give or take, covered in fabric. Uh, they have wooden wings. The men that fly these planes, they're all a little bit classic as well. an aircraft before I was driving a car. I flew spray planes for a long time, for 22 years, crop dusting. Got my first job at an airline in 1978 and spent 40 years flying commercial airliners around the world. These pilots are part of the Indy Biplanes Club, flying out of Metro Airport. Far more than just a hobby, these guys are taking their passion for flight and paying it forward. We started getting these feel-good stories from people on the Facebook site saying, you know, you flew over and it made my day, that kind of stuff, which surprised us because we're just out having fun. So we kind of started making that our mission.
1941 and entered service with the U.S. Navy. Um, it just had its 80th birthday a couple weeks ago, May 30th. It was kind of neat. Uh, we did some veteran flights. We took some veterans I wanted to go up in one and uh, took them up to celebrate his birthday. It served in the Navy till 1946, and then it was sold to a uh, civilian for uh, either bill of sale for $930 back then. And it was a crop duster, and then it was completely rebuilt in uh, 1991. So it's almost all new parts from 91. It's got 12,500 hours on the airframe, but it really doesn't look like it. My name is Brian Harless. Uh, this is an Acrosport 2, built in 1995 uh, by a gentleman down in Texas. So the, uh, the club started as a get together and fly. Um, we all just wanted to do something together and do something. We, we got a lot of the community involvement because people started seeing us, a lot of outreach. So we started developing that and we started doing flyovers for birthdays. We started doing uh, mil uh, military funeral salutes. We started doing some of that stuff. Um, started bringing our formation work in a little bit and decided that we needed to get a little cleaner on that. So now we've been working real hard on becoming a, a real formation team rather than just a, hey, look, there's airplanes up in the air trailing smoke. Um, once we started doing that, it opened up the avenue toward maybe doing air shows, maybe doing something with that certification that that comes along with. 